my channel if you are new welcome if you've been here before thank you so much for clicking on this video so y'all already know what time it is it's the sephora vib sale the sephora sale spring sale whatever you want to call it it is starting right now so in this video i'm going to share you guys with some recommendations for fragrance skincare and a little bit of makeup not too much but i'm also going to share my wish list because there are some things that your girl I'm trying to contemplate you know but this is the time to buy this stuff especially the skincare and fragrances because you're getting it with some percentage off so if you want to see my recommendations and my wish list for this year's spring sephora sale then keep on watching all right so starting with the fragrance i'm only going to list one i've talked about many others in previous videos i will link those videos in the cards or down below or at the end as a playlist for you to check out my other sephora hauls um but the fragrance that i'm going to talk about is the joe malone scarlet poppy cologne intense this fragrance right here i think i shared this before also you could check out my fragrance um recommendation video some fall and winter fragrances some of them actually transition over to the spring and summer so make sure you check out that video as well but this right here the joe malone london scarlet poppy has been my like favorite since my wedding day so this was my wedding day fragrance i think i mentioned that as well and first of all like let's give a little bit of homage to the bottle okay the bottle so the bottle in itself sitting on my perfume tray vanity it just looks so good and it just smells so fresh so clean it has some sweetness to it it lasts all day because this is the intense Oh my gosh, I don't know how else to describe it to you. It's fresh, it's clean, it's a little bit of sweetness to it. This is a good fragrance for you to try. So if you're looking for a new fragrance to test out, check this out. I think they have it at other locations as well, but I believe it's on Sephora. I'll have all the links down below um, for that. Moving on to skincare, um, I am gonna talk about this. I put it back in the box because the one thing I wish that they would do is like put a little slot on here for you to put the little tool that you use but this is the pharmacy green clean makeup melt melt away cleansing balm i have gone through so many of these cleansing balms this is a balm that will melt your makeup off okay and not mess your skin up not enter into your pores not strip the skin but also leaving it hydrating and yeah needless to say so good i'm like trying to take my time with this but this is definitely something, if you're looking for something like to get off that lash glue, get off like those, like a eye look like this, or just any any makeup is gonna melt the makeup off. Another product that's gonna melt the makeup off, and this one is a bit different. So it's not a balm, it's not a cleansing um, oil. This is the one size makeup dissolving mist. This is like my second bottle of this. And I really like this because I could just spray this on my face, right? walk around clean up or whatever and the makeup is like how can i describe it it's kind of like like fizzling on the skin because that means that it is breaking up and it's easy to just wipe off with a makeup wipe and then go in with your skincare cleansers and regimen that you would typically go in for but i love this especially after filming videos or if i have on like a full face like this this right here is my go to um this one size mist if you haven't tried it try it i'm telling you it is bomb.com and this is the perfect time to get it especially you know at a certain discount um so the discount of course right now it's 20 percent off if you are rouge 15 percent off if you are a vib and then 10 percent off if you are a beauty insider so a beauty insider is you just like you could just sign up that day that you go into sephora when it time is i'll have all the dates down below on what tier is what dates and you can sign up that day and get 10 percent off your or your purchase or order online so don't sleep on the sephora sales okay the last skincare item that i'm going to talk about is this moisturizer i love this moisturizer especially for a night and so many other products that i could have talked about but i just wanted to keep it real simple because i buy the same products all the time and these are just products that are my favorite and i'm I mixing a few new old whatever the case may be but this is the fresh lotus youth preserve dream face cream and this is also like my second or third bottle and it's bomb okay it is bomb that is what it looks like on the inside y'all this is so good 
it makes my skin feel so hydrated. Like if I feel like my skin is acting up or if I feel like a breakout is about to come, I can put this on, do my skincare regimen, exfoliate, moisturize, and then I'll go put this cream on. And for some reason the next morning, I'm not even, I'm not even joking. I put this on and the next morning, my skin feels hydrated again. It feels rejuvenated. It feels so moisturizing. So this is like my go-to night moisturizer. Um, next up, I have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. No one really talks about this primer anymore. I typically gravitate towards my Marc Jacobs one, but when I want something like glam, how this is, I use this in the video that that I did this look on. So if you want to see that video on how I got this look, make sure you check that video out as well. But I use this in that video and I'm so excited that I did because I haven't used it in so long. And I'm like, this is this was actually like the like the primer of I can't even remember the year, but definitely the uh milk makeup primer. Moving on to makeup. All right, so for makeup products, I'm gonna actually go through the makeup products that I use for this makeup look. So make sure you check out that video as well. Check the description box below. But for bronzer, let me start with, actually, let me start with foundation. So for foundation, there were so many complexion products that came out this year. I haven't got a chance to try them all just yet, but I am gonna talk about the one that I tried the most. I also have a review here on my channel. That is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, and it looks like this. I have mine in the shade Syracuse. So if you're looking for like that natural finish and like throughout the day, your skin just looks better and better and better, like that is this, this one right here. So this is a natural finish. It gives you a nice glowy look without being dewy, if that makes sense. So all skin types can wear this. It is a medium buildable coverage. And as you're building it, it is not heavy. It is not feeling weighed down. Like it looks really good. This is what I'm wearing on my skin right now. And I love the way it looks very flawless. Like I didn't even have to put too much thought into it and it just came together. So if you're looking for that natural finish type of foundation that just looks really good on the skin, that is the Light Reflective Foundation by NARS. It does come with a pump. This is your chance to try it, girl, with that discount, okay? For concealers. So I'm almost done with this one. I actually want to get this one, this particular shade again, and I want to get a lighter shade for highlighting. But this is the Kosas, um concealer and I have it in the number 7.5 yes so this is the closest concealer I have it in the number 7.5 so I want to get this shade again because I wear this like when I'm doing like no makeup makeup looks and then I also want to get a lighter shade just for highlighting but love this concealer it is so moisturizing on the skin the wand is flexible it's very lightweight it is buildable without cracking and crumbling and all that very good and hydrating the other one that I would suggest that and it's crazy because lately I've been using this particular concealer because of the foundation. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and it looks like this. All right, so before I felt like it was hyped up, but it actually is bomb, okay? You have to work with this. I like the way that you can work with this. So the new technique when putting just a little bit of concealer right here and then a little bit of concealer right here, you know, put all the concealer on where you're gonna put it let it sit for like one or two seconds, right? And then go in and blend it. Change the game, okay? I don't know what was what was doing it before, but this natural radiant, get your hands on it, okay? They do have travel sizes if you want to test it out. I do have a travel size in another shade. This is in the shade medium 1.5 Macadamia. I know I have another shade when I tried this foundation out but definitely get your hands on this this is very creamy it is like medium to full coverage without it looking cakey and i like that about this so definitely definitely get your hands on that so for all over face powder this is the sephora uh, micro smooth powder you can never go wrong with having the sephora micro smooth powder it sets everything in place it just give a flawless smooth finish the name speaks for itself and if you're looking for that all over powder lightweight powder then definitely try the sephora uh, micro smooth powder i have two blushes here one is from the Sephora collection. So the Sephora collection is actually 30% off for everybody. So make sure you check out the Sephora collection. Don't sleep on the Sephora collection, girl, because Sephora collection has a few items that you're going to be like, what? Okay, Sephora. They have brushes, makeup brushes, lashes, lip liners, lip gloss, lip oils, lip, everything, lip stains. I, I have a lips, a few lip stains. I talk about these all the time. But the blush that I want to talk about 
is the I had this for a very long time and I still love it. I have it on today mixed in with this Buxom. So this is the Sephora Collection Hot Flush number 13. And it's like this really pretty, like, mineralized orange. But it goes on the skin so, it's so smooth, y'all. Like, it's not even funny. That is what it looks like swatched. It's beautiful. I feel like this can go on all any skin tone. Like, you can make this work. Even as an eyeshadow, it's very, very smooth. And I really do like this blush a lot. Like, I need to get some more, but this has been, like, my go-to because it was a different type of blush. I don't have a lot of orange blushes that is, like, a mineralized like this. Um, the next one is this Buxom uh, Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush. And I like that it's a primer infused blush because it'll last long. With primers, usually things last long. It also has a barrier causes you to have a barrier on your skin so things are not seeping too deeply in your pores but this is what that looks like very pretty like pink I actually have both of these mixed together today but this one is like very like light and subtle if you guys can see that very pretty very like foiled foily if you want to call it that but yes that's that so this bronzer is actually bomb this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, and I have mine in the number three, which looks like this. Love the packaging, anything go. Love the packaging, love that it has a huge mirror in here, and the bronzer just goes on very, very well. It gives a nice warmth and depth to the skin without you having to do too much. You don't have to pile on many products with this. So I really do like the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer. Another bronzer that is like my all-time fave, no matter what, is the Benefit Cosmetics Hula bronzer and I have it in the shade caramel. Looks like this. This can never get old to me. This can the Hula bronzers can never get old to me. Um, last but not least, I'm gonna talk about the setting powder. So I initially tested out the La Mercier translucent honey powder when they first came out with it. Love everything La Mercier. Um, so now I ran out of this, and I still have the um the translucent setting powder glow and translucent the glow one so i definitely want to re-up on the translucent powders if you love a finely milled translucent powder to set everything in place that don't give that flashback make sure you go and purchase you even if you get a travel size la mercier powder hands down one of the best powders for setting your makeup it is for setting keep that in mind if you were to sit here and bake with this powder you will see a flash that is a guarantee so be mindful of that. But that is all the Sephora recommendations I think that you need to try along with the Sephora like liquid lipsticks. If you are into liquid lipsticks, they last long on the lip. They're very comfortable on the lip and they're just very flexible and very affordable. So like I said, 30% off of all the Sephora collection, you cannot beat that with a stick, sis, okay? So that is all my recommendations for the Sephora Spring Sale this year. A couple of items that I want to get myself. So let's get into my wish list. So I've already mentioned one as my translucent powder. I need to get a new one. I have gone through as much as I could. Today I actually set my eyes with the remaining of this honey and the glow one. And I didn't want to put too much because the glow one can actually be used as a highlighter on those like natural makeup, no makeup days. If you are into, you know, those type of looks. This can actually go as a, a natural glow like highlighter. Um, so yes, I definitely want to get that. I definitely want to try the Makeup Forever Foundation, the most recent one that came out. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you tried it, let me know your thoughts. I want to try that. So I definitely got that on my list. Another thing I want to add on my list is I haven't bought a Benefit brow pencil in so long. And this is the time to get it. I think they retail for 20 something dollars. And it's like when you find an affordable one, that kind of works, but it's still not as good as the originals. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I gotta get I gotta get me some more of that Benefit brow pencil. I miss how precise it is. I miss everything about it. So that is one of my favorite brow pencils of all time when it comes to high-end makeup, the Benefit brow pencil. So I definitely have that on my list. I wanna get a new fragrance, but I don't know exactly, you know, which one I wanna go for yet. But fragrances is like the best time to get during the um, the sales because like I said, you're saving coin on all of this stuff. So that's basically all of my like must haves, like my wish list. I'm not gonna overdo it just because it's a sale. You know what I'm saying? Like 
I just want to be true to me and stick to what it is that I think I need or I want to try but not do too much. I just did a declutter, so I don't want to do too much. You know what I'm saying? But let me know down below what your wish list is or what your thoughts are on the Sephora sale, some items that you're looking into. I'm sure I have many more that I am probably interested in or wish list. But nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're shopping the sale this year and I'll have all of the dates and all that in the description box below, along with all the products that I mentioned in the description box below as well. So until next time, love, peace and beauty. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.